Hi, I'm Alicia. And I'm Noah. And, and this, this is, is TCTV. TCTV. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. January 2017 ends the semester with only about five regular school days before fall finals. January 3rd through 6th and January 9th will be standard schedule days. January 10th through 12th will be adjusted final exam days. Tuesday, January 10th will have exams in first and fifth period. Wednesday, January 11th will have exams in A day classes. Thursday, January 12th will have exams in B day classes. Friday, January 13th is a student holiday and a teacher professional develop day. So don't show up. Nobody's going to be here. Yep, I teachers. won't. <laughs> January 16th is a district holiday before the second semester of the 2016 school year begins on January 17th, 2017. Exam classes will be 90 minutes long. Okay, Ms. Spears, can you please tell me like the concept of coming up with the banners and like how long it took for the whole entire process of it to happen? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we actually thought about doing this a few years ago. Um, and I'd seen, you know, things like ballpark at Arlington and their banners and really just their branding, bringing out the school colors and all that. And so they were kind of an inspiration. So over the last few years, we've kind of been um, toying with the idea. And so um, this year when Mr. Bartlett said, you know, hey, we really want to bring a lot more school colors, a lot more spirit into our hallways and really showcase our awesome kids, then I brought this little idea back out. Um, and then the first thing I showed him was um, some pictures that I had made in Photoshop of these spaces with these banners hanging in it. So can you please tell me what it feels like to be on a banner? It's cool to be like representing the student media. Um, it's weird to be like, you know, in front of the camera when I'm so used to like uh, putting the pictures up or the videos up and it's weird to see myself up there, but it's cool to represent the student media. So I'm glad we're getting recognized. <laughs> We tried our very, very best to get a really wide array of kids so that most students felt like um, them or their friends or their group of people were really represented in these little pictures as much as possible. Archery Club will meet today after school in C106, and then they will move to the gym. Thanks to the holidays, TCFM will continue into the second semester. Make sure to tune in to your favorite hits. There will be podcasts and radio shows starting on January 17th. That would be cool. There will be a very important senior assembly during second period on Wednesday, January 18th. It is imperative that you come to school that day and attend this meeting. You'll be given important information about ordering your cap and gown for graduation. The counselors will also give you information about transcripts and graduation requirements, among other important items. Semester transcripts will not be available to send until January 27th. Seniors should not request first semester transcripts until the week of January 23rd. If their college requires a transcript before then, they will need to see Ms. Delgado in the counseling office. Also, if students owe seat time for the fall semester, they will need to have made it up and checked Home Access Center that it has been restored before submitting a transcript request. Baseball tryouts start January 26th and run through February 4th. All players must have a current physical and have completed all KISD athletic paperwork prior to trying out. No player will be allowed to try out that doesn't have these items cleared. Check with baseball coaches or read more tryout information on the talent. That's all for your morning announcements. Have a great day, Tim McGreek. Shine on. Click, click.